back again with another video uh, this one should be six in the series and we're just about to the end right now where we're going to be able to finish this up and, and put it out first thing I want to look at in my code is and point out that this line here okay print username please tell me what type of conversion you want me to do is similar to this line here so why don't we move the line up above to this line and just simply put a hashtag here for now and so that we'll comment that out bring this line down here and put it right here and we have to tab it in remember that all lines after the colon have to be tabbed in or spaced in now is this going to run I'll, uh, let's see I can take this line here and I'm going to comment this one out too okay because we moved it we know this works the question is will this work down here and I'll tell you right now it's not here we go please tell me your name my name is Wilf right here it comes and says hey username is not defined well username is defined up here why won't it run down here and I'll tell you that's because functions do not carry variables over unless you tell them to and how you tell them to do that is you put in a command called global and then the variable you want to make sure is um, the variable that you want to have working throughout your code now another thing to uh, remember about this is that you have to make the variable name global inside the function that you call it in we can put global up here and it wouldn't work okay so let's test it again okay my name is Wilf okay and press one let's go one and minus 40 and two to exit. I'm going to pull this up here now to see just what happened in my. Okay. So probably name Wilf. Welcome to the program, Wilf. I was designed to convert temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Celsius to Fahrenheit. Wilf, please tell me what conversion you want to do. The printed one. I'll start the Fahrenheit converter. Okay. That worked fairly well. Um, down here, so I can now delete this line here. I don't need this anymore. I just put a comment on it, save it as protection. I can remove this line here. And I'll delete that out. I think I'll put an enter in here to separate this uh, if statement from this working here. Okay. And here is my. Oh, let's go back to here. Okay, username, what to do, print. Let's put username in here. Underscore and and comma. Okay, so if we go three here, this should pop up. Username, I'm sorry to understand your input. Please read all directions. Okay, let's try that. So we're going to come in here. Wilf is my name. And I'm going to press number three. So number three should call to that catch statement, the else statement. And it goes, please read all directions. Wilf, please tell me what type of comma conversion you want me to do. Now let's just scroll up here and see. I'll cancel out of here. So it caused a little bit of error message here. Wilf, I'm sorry I didn't understand your input. So what I'm going to do is do some uh, carriage returns here, and so it's going to separate it out from the other readings. I'll show you what I mean right here now. Clear all. Okay, run. Name is Wilf. 
Okay, welcome to the program. Well, if I was designed to convert temperatures from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius, well, please tell me what type of conversion you want me to do. I'm going to go for, and it says, well, I'm sorry I didn't understand your input. Please read all directions. Well, please tell me what kind of conversion you want me to do. I'm going to cancel there because I'm coming down here, and I think I need to put some slash and slash ends in there. That's going to separate it out. this history here and run so once again choose number four again okay will from sorry to understand your input please read all directions will please tell me what type of conversion you want me to do and that because it's going to bring it back and okay two to exit i'm just looking at my code here a little bit more can i put some more interactions for the um to make it more personal so I can come here, let's go. Let's put the underscore name there. Okay. Let's separate this out. Just because you're calling another function. And I'll put, just copy this from up here. Paste that in there. Come down here. Put the name in here. Um, do I do a number? Paste their name in there. Maybe make a point here. We'll put it there too. Maybe we'll put it in here. Just say, hey, thanks for using my name. Them. Okay, what else can we do here? Let's just try it, see what it looks like. Pull up our page here, clear this all up, some else here, clear, run. Okay, please tell me your name. Wilf, welcome to my program, Wilf. I was designed to convert temperatures from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. Wilf, please tell me what kind of conversion do you want me to do? I want you to do a number two. Okay, so I will start the Fahrenheit converter. Please give me the temperature in Fahrenheit, minus 40, because I know that's minus Celsius. Okay, do you want me to exit the program? Let's go to, to exit. Okay, well, thanks for using my temperature converter. So, I am liking this. There's still some more polish we could put onto it. Um, I'd like you to go over this and actually write this. Put your own uh, flair on it and send it to me if you wish okay so i think we've done a great job here i hope it all comes together for you and uh have fun and then you can do the other two labs that are listed there um, if you haven't got them done yet so we'll see you on the next section and uh peace out